Good morning. Hey y'all. Good morning. <laughs> we are uh we're here. Um we're we, quarantined. Yeah, we're kinda kinda on lockdown. Semi lockdown. Yeah. We're doing our best. And that's all that anybody can say. That's all that anybody can do. Yes. Um you know, wanna wanna make sure that you know that we stay okay and that and, and that people that we know stay okay. Uh, and I posted on, on my page earlier, well, I guess late, 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 super late last night, that um, we did go to church yesterday. Um, we don't go to a huge church, about 40 people, so the pastor was able to do something creative about, about having us meet um, yesterday. We and had I, a social, social, social distancing, distancing service. service. Yeah, so there weren't any more. There were eight of us there. Uh, and then he had another service where there were probably 10 and then the service in the, in the afternoon. So, uh, sort of split us up. We had to reserve our seats. Which <laughs> <laughs> we had to reserve our seats on what, Thursday or something? On Thursday so we had to reserve our seats. Wednesday, so. I think it was. So, so it was that, cool. So that uh, he would know we would be there. And um, we all sat. The six feet. We, you know, er, er, everybody was cool. Everybody separated. It wasn't any big deal. And we did air hugs. <laughs> hey, y'all. Good to see you. <laughs> so it was fine. It was good. For me, it was good to see everybody. It was good to see that people were okay. People were getting through. Um, it was good to hear the words. So it was, you know, it was, it was okay. It was okay. Excuse me. I'm making a mess and a lot of noise. Um, and I'm still making a mess and a lot of noise. That's the, that's the back of my phone because in this thing, the back... The cover of my phone doesn't sit real well, so I took it off. Anyway, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, so, as you are on, you know what, you, you may be spending more time together than you had planned. Uh, not, 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 like, not like in a vacation sense. Uh, Deb and I don't really have much problem with that because Deb's a, a lot working from home now, so. And I just stay I out of her way. I just separate myself from them. And I just stay out of her way. I am IT and yeah. sometimes culinary. Uh, but <laughs> other other than that, you know, I'll just stay. Out, I, I just stay out of her way while she's working, so it's fine. Um, not not a big I haven't deal. Haven't really had any any IT issues and stuff. We no, hooked the, I we set it up. Everything, bing bang boom, and it's and thank the Lord, it has worked perfectly. Yeah, but um, um, it I miss I miss my friends. Yeah. Everybody does, I'm sure. When I was, we were talking last night, it's like, because you guys know that I, I work at this a local theme park, and it's like, when we get to go back, I'm going back, because I miss, because I miss everybody. You know, you, we get in routines, and we get to know people after a while, and, and when you're used to seeing them every day, and you don't see them every day, it's kind of a bummer. Mm -hmm. But uh, we chose to have a little fun here this morning, and we want you to maybe try having a little fun too, uh, because you're now in closer quarters you know, than usual and and we we learned yesterday about laughter can help you build your immune system laughter is good for you laughter is good for good you so for you. we try to to keep it we of course we our our thing is to help people and to be serious at times but this is a time when lane eggers i think we all need lane. to be we, we all need to be a little relaxed some days so that you can get your laughter out. Stop watching the news. Dude. Stop watching the news. <laughs> you don't need every update. You, you don't, don't need to know every update. You don't. you don't need to be on your phone looking watching for all it, of that. Watching every press conference. No. I recommend once or twice a day, check up to see where we are with things. And forget, and forget it. You know, do what you're told, you know, that we're told to do and stuff, but you need to disengage, disengage every now and then. Watch some Golden Girls. <laughs> We've been watching uh, Golden Girls. Golden Girls, Designing Women, um, Lucy, you know, watch some fun old Two, old funny shows. A couple nights ago, we watched uh, Harlem. We watched the movie Harlem Nights. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. It's awesome. <laughs> when Bella Reese shows up like the creature from the Black Lagoon, <laughs> so oh, you, you want to hit people with garbage cans? <laughs> That's got to be one of the funniest lines in movies. I recommend that movie ever, and it's on Netflix. Harlem Nights with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy wrote and directed that. Eddie Murphy, movie. Red Fox. 
Richard Pryor, Robin Harris, Della Reese, Charlie Murphy. Are you kidding? Arsenio Hall is in this movie. It's it's, it's great. hysterical. Tommy from Martin. <laughs> That it, I mean, it has a host of hilarious people in this movie, and it was great to go back in time and see it. It it was filmed in eighty nine. Something like that, yeah. So it's it's a old it's movie, it's a laughter that's good, but it's very funny because laughter reduces. I mean, it produces endorphins, and endorphins make us feel better, and endorphins help our immune system. Um, when you when when we're stressed, the stress hormones depress our immune system. So we might have to giggle our way through some of this. Yeah, it lowers your immune system drastically when you're depressed and you're you're angry, you know. So and I understand about being angry now. Frustrated, yeah, angry. You're frustrated, angry about this whole thing that's going on, but you got to find some time to to release it. Got to decompress, y'all. So we got a little. We we have a little test for you, a little task for you, a little something to for offer us. you. Us, well, <laughs> as if we need it. Yeah, relationship questions. Our life, and it, it'll help you to know your partner better. <laughs> you remember on the Cosby Show when they when um, the Huxtables were laying in bed and uh, what's her, and and Claire will be reading something from a magazine. And That's what we're doing. <laughs> And Cliff, because, and Cliff would be like, no. Because last night, I told him that we talked about what we wanted to do, and I showed him some questions, but they were kind of like boring questions that we had done before. Not boring, but it was the same type of questions. So this morning, I kind of switched it up a little bit. And then asked me, have you seen these questions? And I said, uh, no. Have you sent them to me? No. <laughs> I think I'm about think to get fun. blindsided. Come on, folks. Like an Turn episode, <laughs> episode of Survivor. Gonna <laughs> it's going to be funny. Yeah. Don't you want to laugh? Uh, at me? You, you won't be laughing with or me. Or me. It could be bad for me because, you know, you could ask me something on here that I don't. Mm. Okay. You know, we'll see. It can go bad for both of us. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Mutual disaster. I doubt it, though. She's going over the questions. It can't go fast. <laughs> um, we're looking out there because sometimes we have a little, a little cat visitor that shows up. And yeah, we have a big window beside us now. Yeah. So, mm. and the cats in the neighborhood love our yard. We get all of them. Do we feed them? No, no, because if because you feed he them, doesn't want to feed them. If you feed them, you have they're your they become your cat. But they're here anyway. If you feed them, they become your cat. No, they're, they're our cats anyway. No, they're not. They're the cat that came to the yard and sat on the brick and chilled out. Mind you, that's how I got our first cat, Pia. They showed up. And I fed them. Well, see, when you feed it, becomes your cat. Uh, but if you don't feed them, they're not your cat. See how you said Right now, we don't have a cat. We don't have a cat right now. All right, so question. Okay. Bunny trails. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's something you always wanted to do as a child but never got to do it? Other than be an astronaut? No, whatever it is. Because I wanted to be an astronaut, but there are no child astronauts. <laughs> um, something I wanted to do as a kid and never got to do? Hmm. Mm. I was an only child. I got to do pretty much everything whatever the hell I wanted to do. Oh, something that's really wow, you know, that you never got to go or do or. What I've not gotten to do. Candy. Hey, Candy. What I've not gotten to do is what I really want to do. And because it was being an astronaut, I wanted to go to the, the Kennedy Space Center and see a moonshot. But maybe we can do that now because in, two, in, you know, in a couple of years, they're going to do it again. Uh, mm -hmm. Something I always wanted to do because I watched it on TV and I thought it was really cool. Uh, that's not very funny, but I, there was something dangerous I wanted to do because yeah, it was dangerous. Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to skydive. I didn't want to. I don't know. There was no bungee jumping because we weren't that stupid at that point. Um, I never got to go see a space launch, and I wanted to as a kid because you can see him from because you can see him from my house. Okay. You can look up and go, oh look, 
They had a lot of TV shows. You could, well, before that, because I'm old, the Saturn V rocket you could see from damn near all over Florida. Um, Candy Low, good morning, good morning. Um, that's something, and that's something benign that I wanted to do, but I never got to do. Um, I never got to, I don't know, ride an elephant. You could do that now. I'm, my ass is too big to be on an elephant. But you see <laughs> elephants on your job. We have Indian elephants that are smaller. They'd be like, nope, get your ass off of me. <laughs> get, your, get this thing <laughs> off me. That would be cool, though, if they, if, they, if they offered that. Oh, elephant rides? <laughs> that would be cool. I don't think we'd be offering any elephant rides. Especially, you, you, go, you, you, you I step on the scale and the elephant go, <laughs> nope. Well, this is something that I always wanted to do is play with tigers and lions and stuff. And do you see one? And, no, but actually I kind of got to do it this year. Big old teeth. Remember? Oh, yeah, we went to the so, Tiger Insider at, at Bush Gardens and yeah. got, got to see them up close. Because I've always been a lover of cats. Big cats, little cats, all kinds of cats. Except cats with no hair. And I like them, too. You like the, the Mexican hairless cats? Yeah. With some ugly-ass cats. <laughs> with some ugly-ass like cats. all cats. And I've always wanted... I used to want a tiger or a lion or something like that ever since I saw Born Free. Born Free always made me cry. But Elsa... But no, I don't think I want one in the house roaming around. If I had a big enough house, and we found out that that tigers don't purr. Yes, they don't purr. Did you like, know? Like like house cats, they don't. They make other vocalizations. They make other. <laughs> they kind of talk. Feed me. <laughs> it was cool. I I must say, on my birthday when we did that, we. The tiger exhibit thing. It was cool. Yeah, tiger and tiger was fun. Uh, I liked it. I think it, you know, it was. You don't a, get to play close, close no. with them. People ask all. People ask all the time. <laughs> do you get to pet them? No. No. <laughs> I mean, even the people taking care of them don't. Don't really pet touch them. them. No. <laughs> don't pet them. They're not pets. They're tigers. Uh, so that was no. That was fun. You know, I, I wanted to ride an elephant. I and I don't know why I want to ride an elephant. When you're a little kid, you don't know why you want to do no. these things. You think they'll be cool. I was a lot smaller as a child, as opposed to now. Elephants would be like, mm, this is cool, unusual. We were both a lot smaller. This is cruel, unusual punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass off me. All right, so let me see. What you what do you got here? You I'm gonna, pick one. I'm going to spin the wheel, because I've never seen these. Let's see here. What is the strangest? And this is easy because I'm not from the country. Uh, I'm from, I'm a city kid primarily, uh, raised by country people. Though, what's the strangest? Ah, raised by country people. My mom was from here, and my dad was from Hawkinsville, Georgia, which is about this big, literally, literally. I've eaten a lot of strange things. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Um, not strange to them because chitlins will be strange to most of y'all. Yeah. I had chitlins, but that's not the strangest. Pig and... That's crazy! Think about pig intestines not being the strangest thing to ever eat. Because I was raised in a small town, country girl, Monticello. Any Mon of my Monticello people out there? Monticello is about six times bigger out. than Hawkinsville. Give a shout out. <laughs> but that's where I was raised. And some people would think this was the most strangest, but to me, the, to me eating um, pig brains... And they would and and they make those and they put them in scrambled eggs. What do they call that? I don't know exactly what it's pig called. brains. Pig brains. I have not eaten pig brains. And I, and they put them in scrambled eggs and because that's the way you can eat it. Probably. <laughs> yeah, but nah. I haven't done that in a long time. And um, they call it coon, but it's raccoon. I be I used to eat that on a regular basis because my dad. Used to get one every Christmas. 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 No. We would have a coon, and people in Monticello still do that routine. They, they now I've seen where they saute them and they grill them. <laughs> uh, it's mm. not bad. Grilled I, coon. I I have to say it's it really doesn't sort of the bad. French treatment of raccoon. Mm. <laughs> but that. 
those are some of the strangest things I've eaten. And you? No, the the, the strangest thing I, that, that I can say that I've eaten has been um, pig intestines. Because that's strange. Now, I, what I know is, before you start, I know that people around the world eat intestines of animals all the time. That is not so bizarre from an international standpoint. Hey, don't know Sorry. what happened. Don't, have, don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. It's Facebook. Facebook doesn't like when you talk about eating pig intestines, apparently. Uh, but in case... Is sharing it on my page? Uh, I, I haven't gotten there yet. I was doing that when the video what crashed. What's doing? What's doing? Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, the strangest thing... Chitlins. Okay. And, th That's th really not strange. Yes, it is. In, 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 in what is the it? South. Do not eat... <laughs> Joe Hope, what's up, baby? Hi, Joe. Good to see you, bud. Do not eat anybody but your mama's chitlins. Yeah. I don't eat chitlins anymore because I'm not going to clean them. And, my and you got to clean them because they're full of poop. And my mother and my grandmother are not alive anymore, so I don't eat them. So we've eaten all the chitlins we're going to eat. We're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joe is a chef uh, or knows some chef-like people. Uh, I'm sure Joe has eaten or um, cleaned some some chitterlings in his life too. Strangely enough, good morning. Good morning. Um, so some of you out there, if you're watching this on delay or eating that, put post a comment. What's and the tell weirdest, us some of the weirdest? What is things the weirdest that you've thing eaten? you've ever you, you've ever eaten? Uh, Mine was pig brains. People eat tripe, um, tongue, and tripe is cow stomach. Yeah, Ugh. I've had that. I've had tongue, oxtails. Some people think oxtails are weird, but I that's just, just a norm, it's normal. Just, it's just cow tongue. It's, it's just, cow just a tail. cow tail. It's uh, beef. Beef. Yeah, I guess. Not much beef, though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no on the chitlins. <laughs> oh, come on, Joe. You, you, are the, you are the adventurous one. What about coon? Raccoon. Raccoon? That was the that was one of the weird things that I've eaten. I never had possum. Kangaroo? Anyway. Uh, frog legs? Something. Frogs. No, I've, I've pretty much avoided raw hole fish. Now, yeah. Roll, fish roll. Mm -hmm. Fish roll, uh, yeah. I've had fish roll, of course. That's a country thing. Fry them up so hard. <laughs> yeah, fry them. Not raw. <laughs> fry them. But you can fry anything. You can fry a tennis ball and enough batter and eat it. Hey, Mark. Um, Good morning, Mark. So what's another one? Okay. <laughs> this one is funny. If you could rid the world of one disease, what would it be? <laughs> right now? <laughs> oh, that's easy. That's an easy one. Right now. Coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, this, uh, yeah, coronavirus would be um, no, but, be history. But uh, cancer? I, yeah, cancer would be the, the main one because cancer took out my mom and my dad. Yeah. So, and... And I'm fighting it every day with all kind of healthy things, doing things to keep keep it out of the family. Yeah, yeah. And prayer. Yeah, if I could, if I could, if if I, if I can wave uh, my magic uh, wand or or you know I get some help from um, from this guy, boosh, uh, cancer would be the one probably. Yeah. Um, it, 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 cancer it, takes taking out too many. It is the most. It, it is the most pervasive of the diseases. That are out there, so that's probably when I would that that comes to mind first. I don't know erectile dysfunction. <laughs> it kind of sucks too. <laughs> it kind of sucks too. What else you got? Um, what board game do you hate the most? Actually, I hate most board games. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I just don't. People are forced to follow rules. People are forced to compete against each other who don't really probably need to compete against one another. Um, and tensions sometimes run high with board games. That's why there's so much fun in, in party seat settings and stuff. To see, pe see the people who are so competitive and when they lose, 
the looks on their face and stuff. It's just, it's, it's, it's interesting it's, to me. It's fun? Okay, well, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's that it. I don't think it's that interesting. Because I'm a very competitive person. So, <clears throat> and, and my son refuses to play Uno with me anymore. I rest my case. <laughs> I rest my case. Um, but, um, the game that I, I like the least, of all the games I, I, I've had an opportunity to play is, I think that thing called the Game of Life is the worst board game in the history of board games. That game sucks so bad. I've never played that. Ah, uh, good, because it's a uh, ux. a uh, ux. It's an awful game. That was a Milton Bradley Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody came in hungover. And said, I got this great idea, and everybody else hung over too, and, and they went with it. You guys like Life? The Game of Life? Came out in the 70s? Terrible, 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 terrible game. Um, so whenever anybody, I'd be somewhere, and somebody go, let's play, let's play the Game of Life. I'm like, N no, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go outside and sit in the middle of the street. <laughs> That's well, the Game of Life. I think I should buy that and you try to play no, it, because I don't. <laughs> no. I still won't play it. No matter. But I think Scrabble. I don't know. I, the spelling thing. I, I just don't Scrabble know. must be tough for people now who are on social media. Uh, <laughs> 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 Hi, Rummy. <laughs> you know, Scrabble must be tough for people who are on social media now because people on social media now can't spell, can't spell or, or, or refuse to spell at all. So they think LOL is a word. If you think LOL is a word, ugh, that's not good. Or or, or SMH. Yeah, not a not a word. <laughs> good morning. Not Veronica. a word. So so people who are on social media a lot must struggle with uh, look it up. Look it up. Well, that the urban dictionary is probably not the dictionary to go to for Scrabble. <laughs> it just isn't. Uh, well, I guess you can play it that way. That'd be a nasty game of Scrabble. I'm gonna tell you straight up, straight up. That would be a nasty game of Scrabble. Um, yeah, I mean, if 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 you don't spell well, if you don't know a lot of words, that can be some something that may not be a lot of fun for you. Um, let's see. What are two things that you would do? If you woke up and found yourself invisible. Whoa, that's a good one. <laughs> if you found yourself invisible, if you looked your if you went to look at your hand, you could feel it, but it wasn't there. Well, see, that's hard because I'm a very nosy person. <laughs> I'm very nosy. So that would be the best day of my life. And then it could be the saddest day because if you're invisible, you can see things that people are doing that you might not want to know they do. And then you could see things that would be hilarious. So. What's the first thing you do? The very first thing. That's a good one. She would kick me. I know exactly what happened. No, I wouldn't, because I do that anyway. You can see me. <laughs> Ooh, <I> mean, ow. <laughs> it would be funnier, but I, trust me, I don't kick him. I don't. <laughs> I'm all bruised. She beat me when y'all ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> Color purple reference. Color purple reference. <laughs> But, um, I would probably go to some grocery stores and see exactly how they're preparing our meats and stuff and know which stores not to shop at. Okay. You see, I would go and have a lot more fun. I'd go, like, to a toy store and I'd grab a toy and, and I would make it. And make it float <laughs> down the aisle and scare the children. <laughs> I would chase them around with this. <laughs> I would. And I know that's terrible. But it'd be, it would be funny, funny as, hell. as hell. Hey, Christina Fry, how you doing, hon? Uh, Christina is on lockdown, but she lives a life of lockdown. God bless her. 
Uh, it is good to see you. Um, good to see you're out there. But um, no, I would. I would grab stuff and I'd float it around the store. <laughs> Ooh, I think it would be fun. I think it'd be hysterical. As a matter of fact, be. Um, I don't know. You know, it's it, you know it's tough. Once you're once you're invisible, what what happens is that you you know the people that you want to see you can't see you either. So it just it's kind of tough. But I would I would mess with people. I have definitely mess with people, and messing with people in in places where they don't expect you will be even more fun. Moving things around, going into places and saying and 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 people are thinking their computers over here and, and then moving it, and then standing there and watching watching the fun, watching the chaos. But you'd have to stay really quiet. <laughs> you have to stay really quiet. Yes, you would. Because then, if because then if they heard you, then they would run. So you have to. It'd be fun for a while, I guess. But everything'd be fun for a while. What, what you got? What time is it? It's almost time for you to go to work. No, I go at eleven. Oh, and you don't have to drive. Yeah. Oh, so how's that drive from? From the bedroom to the kitchen, oh. or no, the dining room. Yeah. So, not a long drive. Not much driving. Yeah. Okay, so what we got? Occasional, I, you know, my son in the hallway or whatever. Yeah, you have to you know, put, put, the, put the turn signal on. If you could be on the cover of any magazine, which one would you choose and why? I want to be on the cover, co cover of Ebony Magazine because it would piss people the hell off. Because <laughs> it would make people mad uh, for all sorts of reasons. Let me have a cover of Ebony Magazine. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of magazines. Uh, that cover of Downbeat Magazine, Jazz Magazine. Um, but I think be, being on the cover of Ebony would be fun. Or being on the cover of Jet. <laughs> or maybe being the centerfold in Jet. <laughs> True story. When I, Christina, you'll like this. When I was at Durant, we opened Durant. Um, went to the media center and they had, cause they were trying to get all the, uh, the magazines that kids would read, blah, blah, blah. So they had Ebony and they had Jet. So I, 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 I went to the media specialist and I said, do you know there's a centerfold in this magazine? Mm -hmm. What? There's a centerfold in this, in Jet magazine. No, there isn't. <laughs> I've read Jet all my life, basically because the centerfold is the centerfold of a scantily clad woman in the centerfold of every Jet magazine. <laughs> yes. So I yes. went and I and I said, I'm just going to grab one. And I just grabbed one off the shelf randomly, opened it up. She was like, <gasps> oh my goodness. Is, is it in all of them? Every, every single one. Of one. <laughs> every week. A bronze beauty in every single magazine. <laughs> it's done tastefully. Well, sometimes. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Sometimes. But there has always been one. In uh, the and this was like like in 1997, so and they were kind of freaked out. And I because thought they it, had it in the library. It was it was it was, it was in the library. <laughs> and I thought that, that was, was I thought that was funny as heck. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Take them all out? <laughs> you like that? Nice. <laughs> Hysterical. It was so funny. It was good, you know. It was a lot of good days, and it was a lot of good days there in the early days. Uh, but I was just trying to help them from a cultural standpoint, mm -hmm. because what would ha what was going to happen was that eventually all those pages were going to be torn, torn out. Because <laughs> you know the boys were going to get that. Oh, they did. Oh, they. Oh, oh, this, this was direct. Everybody was touching their pearls. Oh no. <laughs> It was pure, it was purely puritanical back then. Um, <laughs> Mad Magazine. I got in trouble for taking, uh, and Joel appreciate this. I got in trouble for taking a copy of Heavy Metal to school, Heavy Metal Magazine to school um, when, I, when I was in high school. Uh, wow. I, yeah, Heavy Metal Magazine was it was it was it was a little raw, but it was there were no pictures. It was all comic book stuff. So, but I liked it. It was fun. Uh, Bernie X was not for family consumption, but it was pretty good. 
So what magazine would you like to be on the cover of? Every one that everybody wants to do. Time. Time. They so they they, they don't they, they almost don't have that anymore. Time magazine. Mm -hmm. Why time? Because it's worldwide. Hmm. Everything's not worldwide. Just in the hood. Just in the hood. If I had to be on a, a black magazine, it would probably be Essence. Essence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ebony, Jet. Yeah, that was, but that that whole thing with the um, the Jet magazine in Durant High School was just a hoot. Um, I forget the lady's name. They, I mean, they were very, very, they were very, very sweet. Especially Vivian McCullough. Uh, she was the aide there and very, very sweet. But all Plant City, <gasps> <laughs> big hair, Plant City. <gasps> Let's see. Mm. We're rolling the pin. Yeah, spin the wheel. Good morning, Tony Briggs. T Briggs, what's up? It's early for you, isn't it, son? Yeah, it's, six, it's quarter to seven in the morning there. Mm -mm. How many pieces? Because pizza is our history. Yes, pizza is our history. Pizza is our history. It's our pizza foundation. Pizza brought us together. Yes. Made in the sauce. How many pieces of slices of pizza are you capable of, capable of eating in one sitting? Now, I may have to ask that question differently. How many pieces were you able to eat in one sitting? At the when height was, of your pizza eating. At my Pizza Hut years, I could eat probably... A medium, I could eat all but like two slices, probably. <laughs> Lightweight. Now, two is my max because. Lightweight. <laughs> Always lightweight. Uh, all of it. <laughs> all of it. A medium? All of it. Every bit of it. Mm -hmm. Every bit of it. And lick the box. <laughs> In case you didn't know, we met at Pizza Hut. Yes. We work together at Pizza Hut. And good morning, Priscilla. Hey, Sister Mom. We we met at Pizza Hut, so that's why we are we're considered the uh uh what did we do? Something's wrong. Oh, Google Play is closed, I don't care. But um Aww. <laughs> <laughs> pizza is our history. We have a Pizza Hut baby. We do. Pizza <laughs> Hut. So does Carol and... Um, and Kathy. No, Carol and, and Nelson. Nelson have Pizza Hut babies. Yes. They were, they were a couple at Pizza Hut. Nothing out Pizza's the Hut. It was fun. It was, it was, it was a good job for a while. Yeah. It was, it was, it was nice. I could eat a whole. I could eat a whole medium pizza in, in one sitting uh, alone, um, because we used to do just that. Christina, you'll get you you you'll, you'll get a kick out of this. Um, for a while, well, in you know, at Florida State, obviously going to school we didn't have much money, so I was able to to make a couple of pizzas, you know, pretty much every night I worked to take home, and um, basically a medium supreme. And uh, a couple of medium supremes, and I would have one, and Ted would have one. <laughs> How we survive? Come on, pizza, vegetables, dairy, protein, grain. The perfect food. You, not the perfect food, but you can survive on it for long periods of time. Yes, I occasionally like the spaghetti there and stuff. I like variety. <laughs> Oh, that's, you see, Christina, that's why we've all, you and I have always hit it off, because you can tell, you work for the hut. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here's my question. Oh. And we probably need to do just one more after mine, and that'll be it. Okay, so we're going to do two more. Yeah. If you inherited a, or won a million dollars, 
which in this day and age is not a whole lot of money. <laughs> you get to spend an afternoon. <laughs> What's the very yeah. first thing you would do with the money? Okay, I would, yeah, I, I would tie them the money, and that would be that would be super for my church. I can't even tell you. Uh, dropping $100,000 on my church right now would just be transformative. Now, the stuff that I would do personally, um, you know, I, I'm like everybody else. I would do all the normal stuff. I'd pay this house off, and I'd pay all the cars off, and loan back loans and all that kind of crap. I, you know, you do all, you do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But what would I? What else would I do? I'd buy an, I, an Icon A5. She doesn't know what Icon A5 is. I'm waiting for you to say what it is. An Icon A5. So I don't know him, do I? <laughs> it's, a <pl> <laughs> <laughs> it's a plane. It's a sports okay, plane. Okay. It's a plane. Could you buy that from Gary? I would definitely buy it from Gary. I would buy an Icon A5 and I would learn to fly it. That would be so cool. I would learn to fly it. Because I wouldn't have to work and I'd have plenty of time. Well, I think I'd still do some kind of work. Because a million dollars don't last a long time now. I would. It is if you have an A5. <laughs> <laughs> I would do pretty much the same thing pay, pay my tithes, pay the taxes, do all, get all of the, that stuff out of the way, and pay off the bills and the, everything like that. And I would um, meet with my trust and investment person because I want it to work for me. Yeah, I'm the, the nerd. And um, I would buy a Tesla. I'd buy an E5. I, don't know I want a Tesla. And, and if I worked, see, I couldn't work because I would be insufferable. Yeah, you people couldn't work with me. I would be insufferable. Hey Charlie, hey Nancy, whichever one, Hello. whichever <laughs> one is watching, uh, I would be completely un insufferable. Uh, some people think I'm, I'm that way already, but you imagine if, <laughs> you know, imagine if I ha if I went to work, and I didn't care. What control would you have? Would you fire me, and I would go get in my Icon A5 and fly away? I would, I would work, but with a different attitude. <laughs> It'd be tough. It would be so hard. So it would probably be better if I would open up that job for somebody who actually needed it. <laughs> that would probably be the best thing. I don't think I would work, per se, on the job that I have. But mm. then it would give me the opportunity to do some work, fun work, that I couldn't afford to do hey, Martina. while I was, Long time we'll see. while we were, you know, yeah, normal. I wouldn't have a regular job. That would, I would just be not. I'd be, I'd be more in trouble than I was worth. <clears throat> I know me. I know me. Uh, I'd be like, oh, this is stupid. We shouldn't do this. This is dumb. That's terrible. I won't answer that. I won't ask that question. That is just awful. <clears throat> All right. Um, describe yourself in three words. Ooh. You watching, describe yourselves in three words. Three. And is not a word, by the way. And doesn't count. Or doesn't count. Describe yourself in three words. Word, comma, word, comma, period. Compassionate. Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. Forgiving. Ding, 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 ding. 
Um is not a word, Christina. <laughs> um, although it's spelled properly, um, <laughs> it's not it's a word. It's tough. It is, isn't it? Um, and selfish. Ding, 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 ding. I, I, that's weird to say that I'm loving and compassionate, but selfish. But it's true. I, I tend to be because I was I grew up kind of an only child, so I can be selfish. And it's tough being a mother, and 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 a wife, being selfish. Thoughtful. In the sense that I like to think about things. Um. Humorous. Mm -hmm. Sensitive. Sarcastic. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> I like to exaggerate. <laughs> well, I am dramatic. <laughs> dramatic is one of mine. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> determined, trustworthy, and easily motivated. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, Christina, you're completely, completely compassionate. Um, I saw you. I saw, I saw you at your best. You know. Yeah. You and you can be a little sarcastic. That's why we get along. <laughs> That's why we've always gotten along. Uh, <clears throat> and and. And Joe, well, I think when I first met Joe, uh, Joe came by to visit uh, Ted and I in Tallahassee on his way um, to New Orleans. Now, Joe had not been to New Orleans before, <clears throat> and Joe was going to hitchhike to New Orleans. Joe walked out of our apartment and got a ride all the way to New Orleans. New Orleans, wow. What? <laughs> I'd have still been walking. <laughs> he gets to the he gets to New Orleans to, 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 to the restaurant that he, that, he, that he was hoping to work at, and they were falling down busy. And they hired him. Would work right away, and ended up getting a place to stay right away. Uh, I'd have still been walking there now, still, all these years later. And so, Joe's always been easily motivated, motivated and, and 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 self motivated. So that has been. Something that I've enjoyed knowing about Joe, Joe Hope Jr. So, and uh, of course, brother. yes, yes, we're all we all together. Yeah, I remember. This is a brother too. Yeah, I'm the other. I'm the other brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the other one. All right. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. An, it's, yeah, Joe's story is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, all right. Well, it's time to go to work. I got stuff to do. Yes, I got stuff to do. I hope that we've able to make people laugh, make people smile for a little bit. Remember, laughter is the best medicine. is 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 a secular way to say it, but you know, um, laughter. I mean, the, ma the merry heart is good for the bones. Yeah, it's a proverb. So, it all it all works. It always worked. Do not panic. Do not freak out. If today you have to disconnect yourself. From social media, I would do that. And this is a good time to download a Bible on your phone. If you're going to be on your phone, anyway. Yes, download a Bible. And you know, I would. I'm from the old school. I would say go out and buy a Bible. But the easiest, don't go out and buy one right now because you have to go outside. Don't go. Yeah, out don't there. go outside. But the easiest thing to do is to download a Bible. And you can get it for free. You can get it for free. I recommend NIV because it's easy reading. And mm -hmm. go, ahead. go ahead. And and my, my and Google Play, my Google Play is my Google Play is crapping out. Right and here. read Psalm ninety one. Hang on, hang on, Psalm ninety one. Read Psalm ninety one, Psalm the twenty third Psalm. Read that one. That will help you if you're feeling anxiety and nervous about things that are going on and it it's bothering you. Turn off the TV. Turn off your your feeds on your. Um, phone and and read those two. Turn off the notifications. That's Psalm sure. twenty three, 
and Psalm 91. Sausages. So, That's my sausages, dude. My dear. So please take some time to do that if you are are having anxiety anxiety issues with dealing with this. And um, I must say, God has really. I deal with anxiety, but I have been. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Or watch the movie High Anxiety, <laughs> which is a really good movie, by the way, and it's funny. Uh, you know, entertain yourself and each Find other. Find some funny movies. Read a funny book. Read a funny book. Hitchhiker's Guide to Guide to the Galaxy. Um, look for commercials on YouTube, like the Snostages commercial. My friend David, David Kimmether and I, David Kimmether, um, uh, bonded on, on, on the, um, the whole, remember the, 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 the dog food? Snostages. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, well, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. For goodness sake, take care of yourself. And remember this. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. Be well.